to the Claremont twins or to Sinead Claremont. You thought you was a bad girl when you was on the Bad Girls Club. Um, let's see if you can still be a bad girl when you're in prison. Because, baby, you heading for there. Because what you did, there's no way you can get out of this. Let's talk about it. Hello, everybody. And welcome to the Miss Anna Luca Show with your host, Miss Anna Luca, coming to you straight out of NYC on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. I hope everybody's doing wonderful out there, regardless if you're in New York, East Coast, West Coast, down South. You know, just hopefully you're having a good time. So, a couple of days ago, I came across the article about the Bad Girls Club and really... It had to do with the Claremont twins. And I remember these twins on the Bad Girls Club. And I'm going to be honest with you. Them chicks made me sick. And I'm going to get into why I feel that way about them. But this was when I had stopped watching the Bad Girls Club a long time ago. Because I just felt that it wasn't that it was just scripted TV. The antics were just staged. And I felt that. It wasn't authentic. In my opinion, after season three, that's when they anted up the antics. And it was really like too much sexuality, too much girls doing it with other girls. And it was really for show. And you saw that once the show was done, nobody really had a career after that. The only one, in my opinion, that I always respected was Tanisha. And the reason why is because Tanisha was a bad girl but she was more of a bad girl in terms of being tough because that's what to me being a bad girl has always been you got to be a tough chick it's never been you got to be like a thought or a slut like you're just you're just a thought and a slut that's all but can you be tough and to me around about 2010 that's when it shifted to like the whole thoughtiness and up until they canceled the show, it's been like that. So for me, I didn't like it once they got rid of like the real showcase and the real actual tough girls. And the Claremont twins really were like at the height of like that whole thoughtiness culture. That's when you saw like thought culture being displayed. And why I didn't like the Claremont twins was because I felt that it was a little bit more than them just being sluts. And it was dark. On a dark, sinister type thing. And I'm going to get into that. But first, I'm going to read to you the article from the Washington Post that details the twin, Sinead Claremont, being charged with stealing a dead man's identity. So this is what it says. It says... Sinead Claremont was arrested July 11th for allegedly stealing a man's identity after meeting him on a quote-unquote prostitution date. Claremont appeared on the reality TV show Bad Girls Club alongside her twin sister Shannon. On TV, Sinead Claremont was bad. One half of the famed social media duo, Sinead and her identical twin sister Shannon most recently appeared as models for Kanye West Yeezy's fashion line, but they rose to popularity on Oxygen's reality series, The Bad Girls Club. Known by fans as the Claremont twins, the pair were notorious for their explosive tempers, cruel put-downs, and snobby attitudes. Viewers tuning in for the weekly episodes were almost always guaranteed to see either one or both of the twins involved in an epic battle with their castmates. If you look up bad bees in the dictionary, you'll find the Claremont twins. You'll find me and Shannon, Claremont said while on the show. But Wednesday, Claremont's antics may have caught up with her. The 24-year-old was arrested after allegedly stealing a dead man's debit card information after meeting him for a $400 prostitution date and racking up tens of thousands of fraudulent charges, according to a complaint filed by the U.S. Attorney's Office. Claremont was charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, one count of access device fraud, and one count of aggravated identity theft. A statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office said, her lawyer, Donald Dubole, could not be reached for comment. 
She was released on a hundred thousand dollars bail following her arrest, according to Associated Press. As alleged, Sinead Claremont, a former cast member of the Bad Girls Club, lives up to her reality series reputation. U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Berman said in a statement, "Thanks to the skilled investigative work of for the of the NYPD." <laughs> Claremont's alleged agreement. Uh, Claremont allegedly agreed to meet a man at his Manhattan apartment the evening of Jan- January 30th, according to text messages obtained by investigators. Yeah, so, according to investigators. What do you want to do? The man texts. I want to see you for the amount we agreed on. So you tell me. Claremont allegedly wrote. The price for her companionship, $400. Damn, that's really low. But that's aside. That's me saying that's low. According to the complaint, Claremont created several email addresses, including one with the username XXS Exotic Doll XXX, which were used to solicit dates for prostitution and other sexual encounters through various websites. In the text, the man tells Claremont to come over now, adding, don't have to get all dressed up. Mm, okay, I'll be there around 5.15 XO. Claremont allegedly responded, okay, I'm a cool dude. You'll have fun. What type of booze do you like? Wine, he texts back. Closed circuit TV footage showed a woman later identified by authorities as Claremont arriving at the apartment around 5.30 p.m. and leaving shortly before 9 p.m., the complaint said. The next morning, authorities found the man, whom they have not publicly identified, in his apartment, dead of an overdose. Bags of cocaine and and a loose condom that appeared to be broken were recovered from the apartment, according to documents. In the months following his death, the man's debit card showed charges for plane tickets and online purchases of luxury clothing, the complaint said. Claremont also allegedly used the money to pay her rent and phone bills. In total, prosecutors say she attempted to make fraudulent charges adding up to more than $20,000. Additionally, she was accused of creating a fake email in the dead man's name and making a Western Union account. She then allegedly initiated a wire fraud transfer of of $1,000 to herself, the complaint said. Claremont was arrested after getting off a flight at LaGuardia Airport, AP reported. The Claremont twins joined Bad Girls Club in 2015 for the season's 14 for the series 14 season. Shanae's Bad Girl name, nickname was the Power Princess. Bad Girls Club was a hit show for the Oxygen Network for 17 years. In May 2013, the series ranked first and second among all Tuesday cable programs for women ages 18 to 49. N eighteen to thirty four according to Nielsen. The show focused on the antics and altercations between young women who were put in a mansion together for three months. Public drunkenness, fights, and sexual escapades were commonplace. If anyone were to touch my dogs, that gives myself permission to whoop your ass. Claremont said in episode one after walking in her with her red and blue eyed dog. Other castmates destroy their clothes and shoes said to be worth hundreds of dollars. The twins were removed from the house by producers following episode seven. The twins cat- catapulted to online celebrity status following their run on the show. They appeared in rapper Future's vid- music video, Real Sisters. In the video, the sisters seduce men, pull, a gun- pull out a gun and rob them of all their cash. Last year, Music Magazine, The Fader, recognized them as part of the Black Barbies of Instagram. The twins have amassed more than 830,000 followers on the social platform, where they regularly post photos in matching ensembles. They walked the runway for shows at New York Fashion Week last fall, but their most notable career moment was modeling for the Yeezy Season 6 campaign earlier this year. They dressed as lookalikes of Kim Kardashian West. The mogul posted several photos of the twins on January 30th to her 114 million Instagram followers. The day before her arrest, Claremont tweeted, I only have time for money, not mistakes. Hmm, really? While waiting in Manhattan federal court for the judge to enter, AP reported that Claremont looked at her twin and mouth, sorry, before breaking down in tears. Yeah, you damn right, Shanae, you just messed up the money for Shannon. 
Because Shannon can't be successful without you because y'all booked as the Claremont twins. Not Sinead Claremont and Shannon Claremont. It's the Claremont twins. So the money y'all make together, not separate. If one twin ain't there, the other twin that's there ain't going to get paid. Y'all are an act together. Okay? So that's why you had to say sorry because you just messed up the money. Because you, boo, you going to jail. You may get a lot of time if you plead not guilty, but if you plead guilty, they'll probably mitigate the charges, but the reality is you're a convicted felon. And with the feds and anything that's federal, you ain't getting out of it. Because when the feds got you, they got you. They monitored you for months, boo. Okay? Now, I'm going to get into my my feelings of the Claremont twins and why I don't like them. It has nothing to do with them even being on the Bad Girls Club. It's the fact that if you look at their image and their photos that they've taken, I don't care what anyone say, and you don't have to like what I say, to the, and this is to the viewers and the listeners out there, but I believe that the Claremont twins practice incest with one another. Now, I know, you know, they two women can't make kids. I know that. But the reality is that I believe these girls are in a sexual relationship with one another. If you look at the photos, and this is when they were first coming on the back, before they came on the back girls club. If you look at their photos, the photos involve them with their tongue sticking out, touching one another, legs open wide, taking like bare breasted photos with the titties out. I mean, just blatant, overtone, sexual vulgarness. There's no better way to put it. And nobody really... Really, except for maybe a couple of people online or certain blogs was like, wait a minute, there's something not normal about these twins. When I saw the photo, I said, oh, they fuck each other. That's their kicks. And and my thing is this. You're not going to take a photo like that unless that's what you do behind closed doors. Because if that's what you're doing in the public, you're doing things even more bizarre behind closed doors. Now, I'm going to get into this article that I happened on upon on the grape juice. And the both of the articles, I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to put the links up to it. So it's probably going to post five minutes after the video was posted on both YouTube and on Spreaker.com. So I want people to read the information because I want everybody's opinions to come in. Because I want these young girls out here to be careful. Um, stop following these IG models. Because I don't want to see young girls... Going down a dark path. So I'm going to tell you what I happened upon when I was doing research on this. And I didn't even think that this could even happen. But it says the Claremont twins fit fr- meet fresh prostitution allegations. Face bestiality claims. So this is after the whole thing broke with Chanel Claremont stealing, stealing the dead man's credit card and committing wire fraud. So it says an insatiable appetite for Kardashian level fame is said to have driven the Claremont twins into a web of prostitution, a potential murder, and according to some reports, the arms of men and women who abuse animals. The twins found fame on the series The Breakfast Girl, The Bad Girls Club, and amassed a large social media following by enticing, enticing supporters with what seems to be a life of luxury. Alas, it now appears that Said lifestyle was powered by prostitution, fraud, and much to the horror of many soliciting animal abusing perverts on quote unquote special websites. So these are websites that are backdoor, backdoor websites that you can't type the links on Google, AOL, Yahoo, you know, MSN. You got to go, you got to get the website from another person because the website is not public which i mean if it's bestiality it's not going to be public so basically i'm going to read to you a couple of things that was said in the article because i really i really 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 I really want to get this article up because I have to say this, though. And we got to keep it real with ourselves. <clears throat> the internet, social media, and reality TV 
is what brought the Shanae, the Claremont twins onto the forefront. And you look at the 1990s, okay? I'm from that era as a teen in the 90s, early 2000s. You had teens who were on TV because they had a talent. You didn't get on TV because you was a bad bitch. You was the baddest slut. You was the best fighter, unless you were a boxer. If you were a bad bitch, you were a model. You were on the runways. If you wasn't a bad bitch... If you wasn't a model, you wasn't a bad bitch, okay? Bad bitches were like the models. Even if you were like a video model, you know, you were like a video vixen. You, your beauty and your looks and your body was your quote unquote talent. And you tried to graduate to either music or you graduated to acting. Most of them graduated into being an actor. But as the late 2000s came in, the music industry was being marginalized. And with the marginalization of the music industry, you didn't have a lot of people that were being recognized for talent. So you had a lot of people that were going independent. There was still more room for acting. But if you look now, they don't really want you for raw talent. They really want to hire you if you graduated from a university or after school. It's not like the 80s and 90s where you were fresh faced, you brought talent, and you went to like a workshop acting class and you were good at what you did and you got casted. No, they want you to have education because this world now is like degree driven. Where did you get your degree from? Did you go to Yale School of Drama? You know, and, and it's those things. So now people that don't have the money for the education, they're being undercut. So you don't even see that many actors out there. Like it's really that hard for them. So, to break through. So, you now have the only option out there, which is reality TV. But here's the problem. If you're not a person that's provocative, you're not going to get the shine. You're not going to be a household name. Case in point, Olivia, the R&B singer. Olivia has been out since around since 2001 on a, like, on a public level. I bought her album. Album was good. But the album itself was provocative in terms of the, the language. But she did go gold, but she got dropped. She resurfaced with 50 Cent. Then that didn't work out. Then she resurfaced on Love & Hip Hop. She was on Love & Hip Hop for about three to four seasons. They cut her, not because they disliked her, but they called because she wasn't provocative enough. And Rich Dollar said, she's not the kind of person that's going to shake the table. She's about her music. And that's and, and, and that's why she's not going to blow up because she's not going to give you that. And he was right. She's not. She didn't blow up because she wasn't going to flip over the tables, talk profanity, even though on her album she did. But she's not going to give you the ratchetness. But these girls, such as the Claremont twins, are going to be willing to give you that because that's who they are. And that's what the public, or I'm not going to say that's what the public wants, but that's what is being promoted. And there is a sinister agenda behind it. And the Claremont Twins is the is the representative, representative of what you see out on Instagram. Really what you see on those backdoor pages, like those little nasty adult websites. That's what the Claremont twins are. They really come from that. They don't even really come from being a video vixen. They don't really come from that. They're dark. They're sinister. And they're pushing a sinister agenda of incest and what's coming out with them now, bestiality, according to the grape juice. And to me, when you start going into that dark side, it's going beyond, you know, being a slut, having threesomes, doing drugs. You're willing to debase yourself for a dollar and a good lifestyle so that you don't have to bust your ass and work a nine to five. The Claremont twins, when I did research on them, I read that they're Haitian. And that, to me, really bothered me. Because you come from a lineage of people that fought against oppressors and slave masters. And they fought against 
what you're doing. They fought against being slutted out, having their own country. And you, this is how you live up to your heritage by doing stuff like that. And then with like what you could say, a quote unquote enemy, honey, like really, like who are your parents? Who raised y'all? Is this what y'all do? Like what, what, what in the mind frame? It's going on in your heads that y'all into bestiality. No wonder y'all so comfortable taking naked photos of yourself like y'all, like y'all having sex, which I believe y'all having sex. Even when I saw y'all walking into the courthouse, the photo, y'all were holding hands like y'all was a couple. Like, this shit is gross the fuck out with y'all, and I never felt comfortable. And y'all bleach, y'all, y'all color, y'all weaves, platinum blonde, y'all got rid of y'all noses. Um, some lovely tea, shout out to lovely tea. She said, y'all have bell pepper noses. I didn't even realize that until I saw the photos of y'all. And I'm like, yeah, they do have bell pepper noses. Damn, y'all didn't even like yourselves. So to me, and then y'all really defy yourself by doing all that stuff for $400. When you got models out here, like chicks on back page, you know, where they want thousand dollars just for you to sleep with them one-on-one and y'all doing stuff with animals and y'all only getting i only making a little bit of money y'all chicks are dumb and y'all need to really y'all need to kick your own asses honestly y'all need to kick your own asses because y'all y'all just lost y'all just lost gps can't help y'all y'all can't the only thing that's going to help y'all is some salvation, honestly. Y'all need, that's the only thing, because honestly, y'all are already in a dark place. Y'all not headed there, y'all there. Y'all there. And I'm just going to leave it off on this note and say this. This is a lesson for Sinead and Shannon. Sinead can serve up to 20 years in prison. One count for the excessive device fraud, that carries a maximum of 15 years. And one count of aggregate identity theft, which carries a mandatory consecutive minimum sentence of two years. And this right here is a lesson for both of them that if you can't afford a certain lifestyle that you're living, get a job. Okay? It's nothing wrong with getting a job. Okay? There are so many people in the industry that have gotten nine to fives. All right? Second of all, Sinead is going to jail. She's going to plead guilty. She's going to do some time. But Shannon is going to be hit the hardest because Shannon's going to be by herself and she's not going to be able to get books. Because without her twin, they're not going to really be interested in her. Yeezy's not going to really have her there because the Claremont twin's name is what sells. Not Shannon Claremont, the Claremont twins. You know? And that's just the reality. And... I'm just going to say this. I'm just glad that I grew up in a time where people like them wasn't put on the forefront. That we as youth, we had people that had talent. You could say which one was the better singer, but the girls and the guys that was out there, they had something to offer the industry. Remote people like them that don't have anything to offer to the industry, entertainment, is really what had these kids out here messed up. That's why we don't have good music being made anymore. We don't really have good movies, good television shows because what is being promoted is whack. It's talentless, you know? And I just feel sorry for the youth that's out here today following this mess. And I don't have a mind their own. Don't have parents that can tell them what's right and what's wrong. And that's why you got the Claremont twins being celebrated. But that's looked like that's about to end. And I'm glad. And on that note, this is your girl, Miss Anna Little Cool, signing off. Thank you for viewing my videos, and I would love to hear your comments. And, yes, I'm going to post the link to both of the articles that I read. Thank you very much for listening to me this afternoon, and have a wonderful day.